Hi and welcome to Košice, the largest city in eastern Slovakia and the city of gold, known for a record-breaking brilliant stash of gold. But more on that later. Košice is situated on the river Hornat, near the border with Hungary. With a population of approximately 240,000, Košice is the second largest city in Slovakia, after the capital Bratislava. Today, I'm going on a walking tour through this beautiful city, which has quickly become my favorite city in Slovakia. It's a very beautiful city, one of the great cities in Europe, and really just a great place to see in Eastern Europe. But Košice is not only a nice place in Eastern Europe. Being the economic and cultural center of Eastern Slovakia, Košice is also an important industrial hub for the entire country. In 2013, Košice was even the prestigious European capital of culture, together with Marseille in France. Getting to Košice is easy. The town has extensive railway connections and an international airport. By car, it is about a four and a half hour drive away from Bratislava and a three hour drive from Budapest. Košice is an old city. It was first mentioned in 1230, and the city has preserved its historical center, which is the largest among Slovak towns. I particularly enjoyed the many beautiful ornamented buildings in Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque and Art Nouveau styles. The city has the largest number of protected historical monuments in Slovakia, and it is not shy to proudly show them off. Another favorite with tourists is Slovakia's largest church, the St. Elizabeth Cathedral. If you are looking for a church to visit in Eastern Europe, St. Elizabeth Cathedral is definitely amongst the best churches to see in Eastern Europe. The long main street, also known as Slavna Ulica, is lined with aristocratic palaces, Catholic churches and townsfolk houses, and is a fun and thriving pedestrian zone with boutiques, cafes and lots of great restaurants. In this Slovakia travel video, we will go on a beautiful sunset walk. I will take you on a walking tour of Košice and its beautiful city center. Along the way, I will show you all the important landmarks with all the best things to see in Košice and of course provide a bit of background information on them. Košice is a super walkable city, as all the major sites are on and around Hapna Ulica, Košice's bustling main street. We'll start our walking tour at the lower end of Lavna Ulica and gradually make our way up the street. So let's check it out. St. Michael's Chapel is a small but historically important chapel constructed in the 1300s. Built where the city cemetery used to be, it was initially an ossuary dedicated to St. Michael, the patron saint of the deceased. Despite its small size, the chapel has all the attributes of a church, including a sacristy, oratory and choir. In the 17th century, it became known as the Slovak Church, as it was the only place of worship where masses would be conducted in the Slovak language. Naturally, it is tough for such a small chapel to compete with its larger sibling, the St. Elizabeth Cathedral, which is just behind. St. Elizabeth Cathedral is the westernmost Gothic cathedral in Europe and also Slovakia's largest place of worship. Construction began in 1378. The cathedral is unusual, as its north portal, rather than its west or south, is the one that is most ornamented.
The colorful roof looks spectacular and the 60 meter church tower features a unique design. Inside, the fresco is dated back to the 15th century, and so does the sensational double spiral staircase leading to the king's oratory. Just behind the cathedral awaits yet another highlight of a walking tour through Kushice, the Urban's Tower. The Urban's Tower is the cathedral's former Gothic-style campanile, which was raised during the 15th century. Today, the inside holds a small waxwork exhibition of famous people from Kushice's past. The historic ledger stones that were embedded into the tower stonework after being removed from the cathedral date back to the 1300s and 1400s. Situated behind the tower, you will already see another one of the main attractions of Kushitz's main street, the singing fountains. Situated at the main square, Lavne Namestie, which is a small park encircled by small fir trees. At the center is a fountain with dozens of jets that perform a little show synchronized to classical and pop music. The show stops on the hour for the square's carillion to chime and then resumes. It really comes alive in the evenings and at night, when the fountain is even prettier with its many colorful lights. We will walk back to the fountain later when it's dark. Right behind the fountain lies the State Theatre Kushice. Kushice's striking neo-baroque opera house replaced the first theatre which went back to 1756. It was designed by the German-Hungarian Adolf Lang, who specialized in the bold historicist style and contributed many grand monuments throughout Hungary. You can ask for a tour at the entrance during the day, but you might as well just come by in the evening to watch an opera or ballet as tickets are very affordable. On the eastern side of the State Theatre on Hlavne Ulica is the beautiful old town hall. This richly ornamented building was finished in 1780 at the transition from Baroque to Neoclassical and now hosts the city visitor center and tourist office. An interesting piece of trivia 
is that the Russian Field Marshal Mikhail Kutuzov stayed here after his way home after the defeat to Napoleon's army in the Battle of Austerlitz. You can tell we are walking on history everywhere, as Kushitz is one of those great historic cities in Eastern Europe. Next to the old town hall, you will find Slovakia's oldest inn, Levočki Dom, or Levočka House, which also dates back to the 15th century. For almost all that time it has been in the hospitality business, and owned by some of the most important figures in the city. Its only break from being in the hospitality business came for a few decades in the 17th century when the Jesuits turned it into a pharmacy. It is one of the oldest restaurants in Europe and that alone makes it worth visiting. But online reviews also rave about the excellent pizza on offer. So when was the last time you were able to tell someone that you had a pizza in a place that was open in the 1400s? Next to the inn you will see Kralovsky Dom, the Church of the Holy Trinity. This Baroque church was part of a counter-reformation spirit in the 16th and 17th centuries when Košice was a Protestant city. Following the Thirty Years' War in the mid-1600s, Košice was back in Catholic Harpsburg hands. The church was built for the Jesuits by the city as an apology for a massacre of Jesuit priests that took place in Košice during the war. Let's have a look at a pillar that commemorates another tragic event in Košice's history, the plague epidemic that hit Košice in 1709-10. The Immaculata Plague Pillar lies in a little fenced enclosure that protects the Baroque Marian column, capped with a sculpture of the Virgin. It was erected in the 1720s to praise her for ending the plague. Around the pedestal are statues of St. Sebastian, St. Ladislaus and St. Joseph. Let's continue our walk further up Main Street and check out the many restaurants and cafes. I love the atmosphere here, the many amazing smells and yummy treats. The street definitely comes alive in the evenings. As the evening starts to settle in, I'm going to head back down Main Street to check out more of the restaurants and buildings which are beautifully lit at night. And of course we're going to have a look at the Singing Fountain Light Show. Let's check it out.
Now, I'm back at the Immaculata plague pillar again. Just in front of me, overlooking the Immaculata, is a gorgeous Art Nouveau house dating back to 1898. The Beggar's House, Jobakrov Dom. The Beggar's House is one of the most picturesque buildings in Kushice. Just under the gable, there's a mural which tells the legend of its existence. It shows Elizabeth of Hungary and a statue of a beggar, holding his cap to people on the street below. According to this legend, this career beggar got rich from the generosity of the citizens and never had to pay tax from the money he received as gifts. With all his earnings, he could afford to build a house here, in the most prestigious part of the city. And that's where it stands today. Pretty cool story if you ask me. This Kushitsa video would not be complete without talking about the Kushitsa gold treasure. Just a little further up Alavna Ulica, you will find the Kushitsa gold treasure. And this building literally holds quite a treasure. It is the largest single hoard of gold in Slovakia and one of the largest in the whole world. This stash of gold was found by chance while excavating the foundations of the finance directorate in 1935. It contains coins from 16 different regions in Europe. The treasure dates back to the 17th century and is made up of 2920 gold coins, two gold medals and an exquisite gold chain. Since 1970, it has been in the vault of this plush new Renaissance Museum, a few streets up from Havna Ulica. This concludes my little walking tour through Kushice city center. I hope you enjoyed the Slovakia tour through Kushice. If you did, please also check out my other travel videos on beautiful Slovakia that offer some of the best city tours in Eastern Europe, very beautiful nature and some of the best historic sites in Eastern Europe. And leave me a like and comment down below. If you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to my channel and I look forward to seeing you in my next travel video, where we'll show you more beautiful places to visit. Have a good one.